Yeah. So Shara, let me know, uh, yeah. so you, you mentioned uh, the IBM and the Gardner, and there's definitely a, a few other maturing models out there, like uh, Oracle has one, and uh, then there's all these other more obscure ones, let's say, like Dataflux, Kaleido, um, and there's some free ones, like Stanford has a famous one that they've built on their own. Uh, quite a few. There's quite a few to choose from. Tell me a little bit about the uh, the Oval Edge maturing model. How really is different from some of these? So I think what, when we thought about this maturity model, we, we thought about like the actions you can take. So the objective is that uh, when we design this, I said, okay, the first thing we design is like, okay, where we are in terms of the maturity model, but how can we move ahead with the, it's a very practical approach to it, as well as like there is a roadmap assigned, uh, aligned with it. So for example, as soon as you measure yourself that you realize you are at level two, we give you the, the ability to do list, which is check, mm. okay, do this, 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 and you will move to level three. And then you, you have another checklist and then you move to level four. So it's a, it's a mechanism which is uh, which is a step by step approach to keep moving ahead. But as for the measurement is obviously overall, so that means you have done all the steps. But if you do these steps, you will eventually move to level four and level five, and that is the way we have implemented. So it's a uh, again I want to describe a little bit in detail on that part is that level one is that you are unaware. So you are you may be doing a lot of things, but you're just unaware about that there is an existence of the data or exist into it. Mm -hmm. The level two is something that you become aware. Aware means that uh, you you need to take some actions about the data governance program. You have started working of maybe creating a committees, uh, put together, put together buying a tool or something. You started having taking some initiatives into that, and right. you are going into the area which becomes the the data. Basically, that you comes at the level two, but and still reactive. Level, yeah, it's kind of reactive. When you understand that there is a need for doing it and you took some action and you kind of start, at least if you are measuring it, that means it's the right thing to do. That means that you will consider the left level two there. Then it comes to the level three, which means defined. That means that now we have defined our rules of the player. So I generally consider data governance as, as our constitution, like, you know, so as a country gets established, right? So for example, like, uh, imagine Afghanistan right now, there are no rules in place and, and it's hard, hard, very hard to govern. They're trying to put together some rules and technique. So once you, but in, in US, the rules has been established two years, 200 years ago in the form of constitution. So let's put some rules of engagement. Let's put how people are going to collaborate. What are the things we are going to measure? What are things we're going to do in terms of data governance? What do you mean when you say trust the data? What do you mean by definition? So we put the rules of engagement together that we consider is defined. That means we have established all the best practices. We kind of understood, we suppose they can change, but at least we have defined it this one. So that's the level three. And then comes down the implementation part. If we have implemented this, all the rules of the engagement, that means we have put together the processes in place uh, where we are implementing all the data governance program. That means we have tools to enable all the program, as well as we have a lineage to go down the, the pipe and see that where the data is coming from, is it the good, good quality? We have a data governance quality improvement life cycle is, is, is in place that people are reporting the data quality issues. They're finding the problem, they're solving it. They, you have a place of a standardization in place so that you know the one definition remains one definition of that. There are not multiple definition of a specific KPIs so that people, when they look at the KPI, they understand what they are looking at. So those come as the implemented part. And the level five is, is generally considered as optimized. That means that you are taking the processes in place and then you're optimizing those processes further and further to basically gain more, uh, you know, more competitive advantage in that. So for example, like, like your data governance is kind of automatic fashion. Right? So you are improving your processes to further optimize so they take less time to, to create it. So data lineage is automatic. Uh, you know, everything is kind of become auto, a lot of automation is in place. Uh, you're not spending a lot of time in doing it. And then they, whatever the process is you put together, you're optimizing each and every process that makes to the level five. Like that's the objective we are putting together. Again, it's, it's hard to get to the uh, level five because of that means you're continuously optimizing it. But as, as soon as you start optimization of that, you can get to the level five and then you can keep improving it. That means you have established best practices in place. 
uh, you have a data literacy program, data quality program, access management program. That means the access management has gone from IT to the business side. That means you do not no longer like the role of engagement is properly defined. If there's a PII data, then you know that who's going to approve the, my PII data if I need access to PII data because of say I'm doing a project for compliance, I need access for it, right? Or I'm 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 doing a salary analysis that how to do something that I need a confidential data, you know I may need it, but there is a rule of engagement is defined that if you need access to the confidential data like salary, there's a HR person need to approve it or he need to monitor it or he or she need to monitor it that where we are. So those kind of rule of engagements are defined properly and implemented at level four, and when we are optimizing it at level five.